All right, so we've went over transitions and we've got some of the shortcuts down as far as cutting our videos and moving them around, deleting some of the empty space and adding some transitions between each video track. But now how do I, if I want, let's say to go between video tracks at the beginning or the ends very quickly, how do I do that? I don't wanna have to, some people don't wanna have to move this playhead back if between every single um, track and then use the left arrow key and the right arrow key to move right to the exact frame I need to. What if I just want to move to the beginning of a track? Well, you can actually do that pretty easily. What you have to do though, is you have to go over here to the left and make sure that this blue box is on the video track that you want to do this on. This is going to toggle track targeting for this entire track that goes all the way, track one, all the way over. It's doesn't highlight track two or track three. So if you have video files on these tracks, you will need to select them just by clicking on them and that will let you do it. And I will, I'll demonstrate very quickly how this is helpful. So let's say that we don't want these um, transitions here anymore. You can just click on the transition and press delete and it will get rid of that transition. Simple, easy. Now, go ahead and move a video track up on top, and you can move it over. And I will tell you right now, any track that's on top, as far as video, will always precede a track underneath it. So as the playhead comes, even though that this video track right here has some extra length on it, there's this other track on top is going to block it because it has precedence, it's on top. So let's say you want to select the beginning of just this track here without having to scroll your playhead. Using the up key and down arrow key on your keyboard will quickly go to the next piece of track at the beginning. And this lets you quickly go to the beginning of a track and the end of the track very quickly without having to sift and move the playhead over and get it just right. Um, this is very, very useful. A shortcut that I highly recommend that you get used to using and practice using. And I practice using it after this video. I'll show you what happens though when you don't have this highlighted over here. If I take this off, it is only going to track uh, this video track here and then number three, but not two. So if I hit the down arrow key, it goes directly to the end of this track, not the beginning of this one, and then to the next one over here. It's gonna ignore this track. Um, and this can be useful if you don't want to mess with these and you just wanna skip between these video files if you wanna take a look at them for whatever reason. Most of the time though, you'll, you'll have all of them selected. You have to select them after the fact though. So keep that in mind. Let's say you have made a video track here on, let's say track two, and it's done. You don't want anything to happen to it. You don't want it to be messed with. You don't want anything to be deleted. You don't want be, anything to be moved. You can lock this track over here on the left by hitting toggle track lock. And that is going to make it to where you cannot edit this at all. It's very useful if you just, there's something that you cannot have mess up. And it's happened before to everybody who's edited videos before, especially in the beginning, where you've got tracks all good and then something gets moved around and everything's just all messed up. And it is a track that you had rendered out. Um, it's got a lot of effects on it now it's all messed up. Nothing lines up with anything else. You can lock it so that when you edit, you don't have to worry about it. It's over here on the left. Now that you've learned that, let's go ahead and move on. The next video we're gonna edit a little bit and we're gonna, we're gonna add titles.